All right, I'm hoping you can see the, let me know if you cannot see the uh, PowerPoint. But we're on the heart now, probably, probably the most important out of the chapters. Um, people usually have jacked up hearts, so you'll be seeing a lot of um, cardiovascular. So it sits here. It sits in this space that we call the mediastinum. Let me see if I've got a... I don't have the name right now. Oh, right here. Mediastinum. So that's the space. It's a good word to know because there's like blood vessels that are named after it. And the words used is just the cavity that the heart will sit in. <clears throat> so there's the heart. It's kind of in the middle. A little bit of it hangs to the, the left, like the apex. This is kind of looking in at the heart. So right, you see right here where it's saying heart wall. So that's the heart itself. And so what you can see is like, um, there's like a white line right here. That's called the epicard oh, endocardium. I almost called it epi. Endocardium, the muscle of the heart, like the part of the heart that is the muscle called the myocardium. And then the epicardium is this line right here that I'm tracing. So forget about this part on the outside right now. This white line, endocardium, is the heart muscle, the myocardium, and then this is the epicardium on the outside. So if you were picking up a heart, if you went and grabbed a heart and picked it up, you'd be touching the epicardium. Then there's a sac around the heart. <coughs> there's a sac around the heart. So actually, when you open up a cadaver, hold on. <coughs> I've got some infection going on. When you open up the heart, like when you open up the thorax, you won't actually see the heart as it looks here on this photo because the pericardium is around it. So it's just like a sac. You got to cut open the sack and remove it, and then you'll see the <clears throat> the heart back in there. So there's a there's a pericardium surrounding the heart, and then there's fluid in between that sack and the actual heart. There's pericardial fluid. So that's what they're kind of showing you here. This is the pericardium. Like I'm not going to get into the layers. It's not like a big deal. This is the pericardium, and then there's like this space here in between the pericardium and the actual heart. So that has the pericardial fluid. All right, let's talk about the. Let me let me go to a different slide, and then I'll talk uh, that one. All right. So first of all, the heart. What is it? What's it do? It's 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 pump. It just it's just a pump. I mean, the real exchange is in be is between your lungs. The real exchange is between your lungs and all of your tissues, or you could say cells. <clears throat> so the oxygen comes into your lungs, and then from there, it's going to be distributed to all the cells, and then going back. You have carbon dioxide. So there's carbon dioxide flowing, you know, from my feet through the bloodstream into my lungs and then out. Right. So that's the exchange. It's it's really from your lungs to all of your tissues. Now in the middle is the heart. The heart is pumping all that. The heart is the one that that mediates it. The the heart's the the middleman. So going into the heart, you're always going to have something coming in from your lungs, blood that was just at your lungs, and you're going to have blood that was just everywhere else in your body. 
because exchange is between tissues and lungs. So there's always going to be blood coming in from the lungs, and there's always blood coming in from the tissues. There's always blood going out to the lungs. There's always blood going out to the tissues. So the heart is getting blood from two different places at once, and the heart is sending blood out to two different places at once. Mm -hmm. So let's try to, I mean, I'm sure that you went over this heart a little bit in AMP1. I don't know that you should have, but I, I think you did, which is good. Let's start off with the chambers. There's four chambers, four rooms to this heart. Here's one here. That's an atrium. And this other one over here is the other atrium. So room one, room two. So there's two atrium. The atrium receives blood. I, I imagine this whole thing is like, it's like a business. It's like a warehouse that, that's divided in half. So it's like when you look from the outside, it's one warehouse. But really, it's two separate businesses. And each business gets stuff in from like UPS and FedEx and it ships stuff out. So in the front, that's where all this, the packages and stuff come in. And then they turn around, both of these businesses, and they ship stuff out the back doors. I kind of view it like that. One building, two businesses, two receiving departments, two shipping departments. That's kind of like what the... That's kind of like what the heart is. So you've got two receiving, like, so if, so I could kind of divide the heart in half. So kind of just down here, I'm dividing it in half. You know, like this right here, this is kind of dividing the bottom part of the heart in half. This is called the septum, and we just keep going up. And you see like one side, the, the, the left side is blue, I'm sorry, red. The left side's red and the white side's blue. So it's one heart but two different sides, right? There's a left side and there's a right side, and they don't ever mix their uh, blood. So whatever blood comes into the left side, it leaves the left side. Same thing with the right side. Right? When you're, when you're an infant, I mean, when you're a fetus, it's different, right? There's mixture. But once you're born, there's no mixture. Whatever enters once the left side leaves the left side. Then, so you've got one building, but with like two businesses, right? And then each one has a receiving department. Those are the atria. So here's one here, and here's the other one here. Right atrium, left atrium. And then these two things right here, this whole area, that's the left ventricle. And this whole area right here, is the right ventricle. So you've got four chambers. Two atria, two ventricles. Right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium, left ventricle. Or I could look at it as like receive, receiving department on the right side, left side receiving department, right shipping, left shipping. Because that's what they do. These two ventricles are shipping out blood. These two atria are receiving blood. Now, you might like see this kind of area right here. This is part, we're going to call this part of the ventricle. This is all the right ventricle here. And then all of this right here is the left ventricle. So you've got four, four chambers. Right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium, left ventricle. The ventricles are shipping out blood. The atria are receiving blood. So what's the difference between the right atrium and the left atrium? The difference is where they receive blood from. They're both getting blood from different places. So first, let's talk about the blood. You've got two different types of blood in your body. There's blood that has a good amount of oxygen, a lot of oxygen. We'll call this oxygen-rich blood. 
or we can call it oxygenated blood. Really, it's oxygen rich because it has like a good amount of oxygen. Then you have blood that is oxygen poor or we call it deoxygenated. It still has some oxygen. So calling it oxygen rich and oxygen poor, that's a better term, right? But I'm never going to use it because, I mean, uh, I'm from like the old school oxygenated, deoxygenated, right? So <clears throat> you have two different types of blood in your body and they use different blood vessels. So I've got like in my arm, I've got blood flowing down my, you know, coming down my, sh across my shoulder and going down my arm in arteries. And it's delivering oxygenated blood to all the cells in my arm and my hand. And then I've got other blood vessels going back up my arm in the opposite direction. So I've got two sets of blood vessels in my arm. You can see the veins because they're kind of more uh, superficial and they, they, they kind of pop out. I'm making sure you guys aren't telling me that you can't hear me. So, you know, you can see the veins. You cannot see the arteries in, in, in your arm because the arteries are deep and protected with muscle. And so, you know, you don't see them. But you've got arteries going this way and you've got veins going that way, right? The oxygenated blood is coming from my heart and it's going down and it's feeding my arm. And then coming back up, I've got veins on its way to my heart. So that's deoxygenated blood. So um, not that you have to know this like right now, but like this is the blood going out toward my hand. It's coming out here through this red aorta. And then it's coming back from my hand. Like right here, like it comes up here and it's going to come around my shoulder. And then here it is coming around my shoulder. And then it's going to drop down this vein and it's going to go into the um right atrium so i've got two atrium the right side all of that blood is coming from like everywhere all the veins in your body the left atrium all that blood's coming from the lungs but they're also veins so remember veins veins are taking blood to the heart that's why we call it a vein so veins aren't always like blue color right vein depends on the direction it's going is it going to the heart or away from the heart if it's coming to the heart it's a vein if it's going away from the heart it's an artery so this this is here's the aorta Right. And if you look up here, this is this artery right here. This red one is going to go around my shoulder. Around my shoulder and down my arm. So it's going, this is the subclavian. It's going to become the subclavian. I mean, it's subclavian going around the shoulder and down the arm. Now the blood coming back around the subclavian vein and down here. So you have two atrium they're getting blood from different places and then you have two ventricles they're shipping blood out to two different places either the lungs or to like all your body which we call systemic circulation like when i send oxygenated blood up to my brain my hands and my feet and my liver that's just your like your system your whole system so we call that systemic circulation i'm going to send blood to my whole body and then I'm going to get all the deoxygenated blood and send it back. But the other circulation is when you send blood to your lungs and then back, which is pulmonary. So if we go to each of these four chambers, the two atria or the two ventricles, the atria are receiving blood either from the lungs or from like your system. The two ventricles are sending blood out to either your lungs or your whole system. Do you have any questions so far? Did I kind of confuse you a lot already? Right side of the heart, 
left side of the heart. Right side of the heart, deoxygenated. It only deals with deoxygenated blood. The left side of the heart only deals with oxygenated blood. Oxygenated blood comes in and oxygenated blood gets shipped out. And you know, when you're looking at this heart, it's as if it's anatomical position, right? So it's facing you. So the, the left side, you know, just keep that in mind. This heart is facing you. So this is the left side of the heart and this is the right side of the heart. So it's kind of reversed, right? So the left side of the heart only deals with oxygenated blood. It receives oxygenated blood from the lungs and it ships that blood out to all the cells in your body. That's what the left side does. Get the oxygenated blood from your lungs right here and then ship it out to everywhere. Great. Right. So yeah. then the right, I'm sorry. So then the right deals with the, um, with the, the deoxygenated, deoxygenated, okay. Where do you think that blood's coming from? Um, the the right atrium? I don't know. Let, let, let me not say so. so. The blood on the right side's deoxygenated. It doesn't have a lot of oxygen. Okay. So it just came from like everywhere in the body. Like oh, okay. Things in your arms and legs and everywhere. It all gets dumped into here. Like you see a blue thing coming down. And you see a blue thing coming up from the bottom. That blue thing from the top, that's all the veins like in my arms and neck, like my jugular veins drop, drop into this thing. The mm -hmm. veins in my arms are going to come around my shoulders and they're going to drop into this. And then under here, that's all the veins from like my legs and my stomach and everything below the heart. So that doesn't have a lot of oxygen when it comes into here. So we gotta we gotta ship it out to get oxygen. Like we can't send that blood back out to the body without having oxygen in it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna send it out to the lungs, and get you know ship it out to get oxygenated, and then we're gonna get it back. So that deoxygenated blood leaves the heart. So the atrium are gonna get it. The atrium gives it to the ventricle. The ventricle is going to ship it out. Now it's leaving like where this arrow is. It's leaving and it's going left and it's going right. It's going both ways. This is on its way to one lungs, like the lungs on your left side. And then it kind of comes, it comes back here like this and it's going to the right side. So like right where my arrow is, it's splitting. Part of it's going to like the left side, part of it's going to the right. And the lungs are going to oxygenate that blood. They're going to turn it in from deoxygenated blood into oxygenated blood. <laughs> like the air you're breathing is going to mix with that blood and get it all oxygenated. And now your lungs are going to send all that blood right back to the heart again. So it goes back to the left side. It left the it it, it went away through the right side. Now it's coming back to the left side of the heart because now it's oxygenated. So there's the atrium. It gets the oxygenated blood. It's going to give that blood to the ventricle, the left ventricle. The left ventricle is going to send that blood out to everywhere in your body. Just like I've got like an artery, like I've got blood vessels delivering oxygenated blood down my arm. And then I've got blood vessels delivering deoxygenated blood back up my arm to the heart. So from the heart and then to the heart. I've got the same thing with my lungs. I've got vessels going to my lungs and I've got vessels going back to the heart again. I don't know if that makes it easier to understand me pointing and doing that and this. Usually I'm, I'm probably just doing that for myself. There's a good video on this. Um, I don't think I can, I don't have good luck playing the videos during class, but I'm gonna show you. There's a few good videos. You know, I always like talk about like Crash Course and Khan Academy. I'm gonna go to Khan Academy. Um,
So I like Khan Academy. Um, and so what I'll do is um, I'm going to do like Blood Flow. Blood Flow Through the Heart. Um, these are... They're both good videos. Like this one, you see, I was even, I had it running at some time. This one's eight minutes long. This one's 10 minutes long. They really do, it really does a good job. Um, this is by somebody else. How long is that? Anyway, oh, two minutes. <laughs> Wonder how long it is. I don't know, if I play it, we'll... Now I'm kind of curious. Veins are blood vessels containing blood flowing to the heart. Can you guys hear that? Yes, we can hear it. You guys care if I play it? This might I like this heart better because it's got a lot. It's it's got less crap on it. Like it looks a little more clear. No, definitely play it. Whatever helps us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, look this. This is the right side of the heart. This is the left side of the heart. This is the right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium, left ventricle. These arrows going in from the side, that's all the blood coming back from the uh, lungs. So what you can't see is like if you follow this arrow and then follow my arrow, it's coming behind the heart and it's dumping in right here. And this, this is called a pulmonary vein. This pulmonary vein is coming behind the heart, and it's dumping right there. Same thing here. So you got four different tubes that are draining into this one area, this left atrium. Then that blood's going to go to the left ventricle, and then it's going to get shipped out. And it kind of weird. It's kind of weird how it gets shipped out, but you know, it gets shipped out through here, and then it arches around. <clears throat> and then the other way, this is called a vena cava. So is this one, inferior, I mean, superior and inferior vena cava. They're both getting dumped into here. This is what this, uh, see like that blue circle? That's the opening for this tube here. That's what they're showing you. Just like this red circle, that's the opening for like these two tubes. And there's another red circle like, Back in here, you can't see it. So anyway, let me play it and see if you guys can make sense out of it. While arteries have blood flowing from the heart, the blue is representative of blood vessels containing deoxygenated blood, while the red blood vessels have oxygenated blood fresh from the lungs. Now, let's follow the path of the blood through the heart. The superior vena cava receives blood from the head, neck, upper limbs, and chest. Meanwhile, the inferior vena cava receives blood from the trunk, viscera, and lower limbs. Both the superior and inferior vena cava end up in the right atrium, one of the four chambers of the heart. The heart not only has four chambers, it also has four valves. The purpose of the valves is to keep blood moving in the right direction and not flow backwards. Blood exits the right atrium through the tricuspid valve, so-called because it has three flaps, and enters the right ventricle. The blood exits the right ventricle through the pulmonary valve. I'm only stopping. I don't want to kind of overload you guys, but this is a good video. Like after we talk today, this would be one of the good videos to watch to get you to understand where everything's going in the heart, like what's coming in, what's going out. I just want to back up a little bit to maybe this. One. Okay. This blood, the first question that you ask yourself is, what side is it on, left or right? If it's on... Uh, some people can't get into Canvas. Um, I got a notice about that. Yeah, I'm locked out of Canvas, too. I don't know what's going on. Oh, you're locked out of Canvas, too? Yeah, it's saying it's my password working yeah no that's not true oh, Mine's too. i changed my that's what i was doing over there on the other screen the same thing happened to me i'm on my phone trying to do it on the app it's not letting me log in it keeps saying change the password i changed my password it keeps saying the password incorrect it's canvas is now that's all 
Yeah, but you guys had this one like the other day. Someone, someone just texted me about it. I thought I was tripping. I just hit the pay for about 50 times already. I don't even know how to do that on my phone, though, like cut and paste. I know, man, you guys could do that, like, right away. What you mean, like, the password? What you talking about? Yeah, I want to text her, like, no, I want to text her, like, the class, the link to get in the class. Just I'm screenshot probably... it and send it to them. All right, don't laugh at me. I'm going to do something even more lame. I'm, gonna take a... <laughs> I'm taking a picture of it. Wait, that's not the. I gotta get to the. Taking a picture of it, and I'm gonna. They can try to check that email and go through. That's how I got through. Yeah, that's them. I just if, if if the app on the phone is working, you could just go to the little old link from um from June the second. That's how I got in. Yeah, that's how normal people would do it. Just going well, through Google. Know how to use technology. Yeah, going through the little Google Meet app and do it. All right, no one else is texting me. Am I giving you guys too much? Like, is this overwhelming you? I think that because it's new. I'm going to need to watch this video another time to make sure I'm on track. It's really, really but, important that, I mean, I think it's really important that you get like how it works, like the foundation of it before we start adding a bunch of detail. Cause I've got details, but I don't want to start adding that stuff. It's important. You know, like where the blood's coming from and where the blood's going to. So, you know, um, I, I just hate the heart, the whole process of it. It's just, it's just so much. I don't watch the heart video from um, Crash Course about 50 times. I still feel dumb, like I ain't learned nothing. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. I, I like the, for, usually I like Crash Course, but like my favorite is Khan Academy. And I'm gonna that, have to watch it. Like this seven minute one, that's probably and split. the best one. Like that. Like, so this is kind of a simplified version of Look, this guy's going slow. Like he's going slow and he's drawing stuff on here. Uh, um, this is probably my favorite video to give to students. And it's just like really simply drawn. You know, there's your four chambers. Right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle, left ventricle. And of course, like they were saying, there's four valves. So if like if, if a chamber is a room, the valves are doors. You got to go through a valve and you got to go through a door to get into the room. But the valves always work so that you can't go backwards. So once blood goes from the atrium into a ventricle, you can't go back. They're like one way doors. They only open like this way and you can't, the door won't swing back the other direction. Right? So there's like another door, right? So the blood comes in here. And then the, it has nowhere to go but out. It can't go back into the atrium again. It has to go out. And then once it goes out, that valve is designed that, like, it goes out. But if it tries to go back in, it hits the doors and it, and it shuts them. It's like you try to get 50 people to run out of a room at the same time. They're going to get up against that door and, like, close the door. And so... That's what these valves do. They keep blood from flowing backwards. Um, the blue side's going to the lungs, going to the lungs. That's not where it's coming from, but it's, it's headed out to the lungs. The red side is headed out to the whole body. On here, the blue side's coming from the whole body. So you ask yourself, what kind of blood is it? Is it blood, is it blood that has like a lot of oxygen in it? Or is it blood that doesn't have oxygen? If the blood came from your whole body, it's been used up. All your your cells used all that oxygen up. So if it's coming from the whole body, no oxygen. And so you know that's going to go to the to the right side. The right side deals with no oxygen. 
And if we have no oxygen in it, we have to go set, ship it out to get oxygen, and then we'll get it back. So where do we send blood to get oxygen? The lungs. So we're going to send it out here to the lungs. See, this one's going to the lungs, gets oxygenated, and then it's coming back in. Same thing on this side. Send it out to the lungs, get oxygenated, it's coming back in here. So here, this is blood coming back from the lungs. Well, if this blood was just at the lungs, now it must be oxygenated. So we're going to give that to the left side of the heart because that's the side that deals with the oxygenated blood. And, of course, the atrium is the receiving department. You're not going to ship blood to the shipping department. That's not their job. They don't, re they don't receive stuff. The shipping department ships it out. So that's the ventricles. So you're not going to give blood to the ventricles. That's not what they do. They just ship stuff out. So the receiving department, that's the atria. So if it's blood that is oxygenated and it's going to the heart, has to be an atria. And then it has to be on the left side because that's the only side that takes the oxygenated blood. If you're shipping out deoxygenated blood, all right, it's deoxygenated, so it's got to be, uh, it's got to be a ventricle, and it's got to be on the right side. The right side is the only part that deals with deoxygenated, and ventricles are the only parts that ship blood out. So, um, I don't know any clearer. Probably not. I mean, a little bit. So we can kind of play this video if you want. Yeah, go yeah, ahead. That's fine. We could do. We could play the video. No, I understand about what you were just covering just now. That makes sense. Um, I guess I'm just stuck with. Um, so the shipping department, like you said, are, are the uh, the ventricles. Yeah. Um, so. For like the the two different ventricles, what what are their jobs again? Like what like so when the when the um oxygenated blood goes to the left side, what what does the ventricle do do again? Like, like I guess it's it's gonna squeeze and push the blood out. It's gonna like squeeze the blood out. So both of the ventricles do the same thing. Yes, they both squeeze the blood out. Okay. Just that they're going to different places. That's the difference between them. They're going to different places. And one is going to, like you said, the lungs, and then one is going to, like, different parts of your uh, brain, other parts. That's what you mean? like. Yeah. So, okay. so the right side's going to the lungs, and the left side's going everywhere else. Everywhere else, okay. Any, anywhere else in your body. That makes it everywhere else. And then that's the same for the atrium, like the receiving part of the uh, chamber, like the receiving part. Once the uh, oxygenated blood goes there, then it's going out through the same way. What's like, I don't, I guess so, I don't. So when the atrium receives the blood, when it gets it, it's going to turn around, it's going to get the blood. And it's going to turn around and hand it to the shipping department. It's going to turn the atrium is going to turn around and give it to the ventricle. Gotcha. Which makes sense. But so the the atri the only difference between the two atriums is where they're getting the blood from, where they're getting it from. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So where do you think the where do you think the right atrium is getting blood from? So the right atrium must be getting blood from the deoxygenated side yes. of yes, and then. So that, and then the. What, if it's deoxygenated, where was it? If it's deoxygenated, it must have been on the right side, right? I mean, it's receiving it. So, yeah, it goes to the right side. Where was it before it got in there? Like, where is it coming from? The left side. Like, why is it deoxygenated? Is it, is, like, why did it lose its oxygen? I guess because when it came out, of, I don't know. All the, like, 
<laughs> yeah, okay. the, all the cells used it. That's all. Okay, all the cells used it. Yeah, like if you see any of the veins in your arm, that's all used up. It's used blood. Okay. So that's why it's on the... And then this side, this blood in here is oxygenated. In the right atrium, it's oxygenated. So where did it just come from? So the oxygenated must have just came from the opposite side, the right side. Yeah, but before that, it left. When it leaves one side, it comes back to the other. But but my question is like, like what? Either it's coming from your lungs or it's coming from like your whole body. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I guess that's what I'm confused about. Like when it comes from the lungs, what is it supposed to look, you know, versus when it comes from the other part of, part of your body? Like, So when it comes from your lungs, it's coming in to the, to the um, left side only. Left side only, okay. It doesn't matter what lung it was, the right lungs or the left lungs, they're both going to, they both have tubes going into the left atrium. Okay. Left atrium. And then the right atrium takes the, takes it from anywhere else, basically. Yeah. So like if you see like the this blue tube up here, that was a bunch of veins in your neck, in your shoulder, your arms, your brain it's all those veins coming together that's in this tube okay and in this bottom tube that's all the veins in the lower part of your body they all come together into this one big vein right here okay i'll try playing the video let me see first of all can you guys hear blood it? through the heart using this yeah. diagram you guys can hear it yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna play it because I if I see that it's like going too fast or something I'll stop it. But I know it's kind of seven minutes, but I think it's don't try to like take notes on it or something. Just watch it for the sake of watching it. Like yeah. don't think about a test question or anything. I haven't even nothing I've talked about at this point is going to be on any test. So just okay. watch it just for the sake of watching it. It's one of the most amazing organs in your body. This is the human heart. And it's shown with uh, all of the vessels on it. And you can see the vessels coming into it and out of it. But the heart at its core is a pump. And this pump is, is why we call it the hardest working uh, organ in our body. Because it starts pumping blood from the point where you're a little fetus, maybe about eight weeks old, all the way until the point where you die. And so this organ, I think it would be really cool to look at in a little bit more detail. But it's hard to do that looking just at the outside. So what I did is I actually drew uh, what it might look like on the inside. So let me actually just show you that now. And we'll follow the path of blood through the heart using this diagram. Let me start with, with a little uh, picture in the corner. So let's say we have a person here. And this is their face. And this is their neck. I'm going to draw their arms. And they have in the middle of their chest their heart. And so the whole goal is to make sure that blood from all parts of their body, including their legs, can make its way back to the heart, first of all, and then get pumped back out to the body. So blood is going to come up from this arm, let's say, and dump into there, and the same on this side. And it's going to come from their head. And all three sources, the two arms and the head, are going to come together into one big vein. And that's going to be dumping into the top of the heart. And then separately, you've got veins from the legs meeting up with veins from the belly coming into another opening into the heart. So that's how the blood gets back to the heart. And anytime I mention the word vein, I just want you to make sure you think of blood going towards the heart. Towards the heart. Now, if blood is going towards the heart, then after the blood is pumped by the heart, it's going to have to go out to the heart, right? It's going to have to go away from the heart. So that's the aorta. And the aorta actually has a little arch like that, and we call it the aortic arch. And it sends off one vessel to the arm, one vessel up this way, a vessel over this way, and then this arch kind of goes down, 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 and splits like that. So this is kind of a simplified version of it. But you can see how there are definitely some parallels between how the veins and the arteries are set up. 
And arteries, so anytime I mention the word artery, I want you to think of blood going away from the heart. And an easy way to remember that is that they both start with the letter A. So going into our big diagram now, we can see that blood coming in this way and blood coming in this way is ending up at the same spot. It's going to end up at the, actually maybe I'll draw it here, is ending up at the right atrium, right atrium. That's just the name of the chamber that the blood ends up in. And it came into the right atrium from a giant vessel up top called the superior vena cava. And this is a vein, of course, because it's bringing blood towards the heart. And down here, the inferior vena cava. Inferior vena cava. So these are the two directions that blood is going to be flowing. And once blood is in the right atrium, it's going to head down into the right ventricle. So this is the right ventricle down here. This is the second chamber of the heart. And it gets there by passing through a valve. And this valve and all valves in the heart are basically there to keep blood moving in the right direction. So it doesn't go in the backwards direction. So this valve is called the tricuspid valve, tricuspid valve. And it's called that because it's basically got three little flaps. That's why they call it tri. And I know you can only see two in my drawing, and that's, um, that's just because my drawing is not perfect. And it's hard to show kind of a flap coming out at you, but you can imagine it. So blood goes into the right ventricle, and where does it go next? Well, after that, it's going to go this way. It's going to go into this vessel, and it's going to split. But before it goes there, it has to pass through another valve. So this is a valve right here called a pulmonary valve pulmonary valve. And it gives you a clue as to where things are going to go next, right? Because the word pulmonary means lungs. And so if this is my lung on this side, this is my left lung, and this is my right lung on this side, then these vessels, and I'll let you try to guess what they would be called, these vessels, this would be my, uh, make sure I get my right and left uh, straight, this is my left pulmonary pulmonary artery, and I hesitated there just to make sure you got that because it's taking blood away from the heart, and this is my right pulmonary, pulmonary artery. So this is my right and left pulmonary artery. And so blood goes now into my lungs, right? These are the lungs that are kind of nestled into my thorax where my heart is sitting. Goes into my lungs, and remember, this blood is blue. Why is it blue? Well, it's blue because it doesn't have very much oxygen. And so one thing that I need to pick up is oxygen. And so that's one thing that the lungs are going to help me pick up, and I'm going to write O2 for oxygen. And it's also blue, and that reminds us that it's full of carbon dioxide. It's full of waste because it's coming from the body, right? And the body's made a lot of carbon dioxide that it's trying to get rid of. So in the lungs, you get rid of your carbon dioxide and you pick up oxygen. So that's why I switch at this point from a blue-colored vessel to a red-colored vessel. So now blood comes back in this way and this way and dumps into this chamber. So what is that? This is our left atrium, our left atrium. So just like our right atrium, we have one on the left. And it goes down into, and you can probably guess what this one is called, it's our left ventricle. So just like before, where it went from the right atrium to the right ventricle, now we're going from the left atrium to the left ventricle. And it passes through a valve here, right? So this valve is called the mitral valve. Mitral valve. And its job is, of course, to make sure that blood does not go from the left ventricle back to the left atrium by accident wants to make sure that there's forward flow. And then the final valve, and I have to find a nice spot to write it, maybe right here, this final valve that it passes through is called the aortic valve. Aortic valve. And the aortic valve is going to be what divides the left ventricle from this giant vessel that we talked about earlier. And this is, of course, the aorta. This is my aorta. So now blood is going to go through the aorta to the rest of the body. So you can see how blood now flows from the body into 
the four chambers. First into the right atrium. This is chamber number one. All right, he's just going to number the chambers. Um, I know he's written a lot of stuff on here. Um, I don't know. It seems like one of the other easier videos. It gets a little complex at the end, but he's kind of showing you where everything is going, like the path. You know, and, and um, I don't know. Did Do you have any questions at this point? The video, the, the video made sense. Um, it kind of put everything together. I think that it would just be me having to, to remember and actually, the because it's steps to it. So, and it's quite a few steps. So there's uh, probably like, there's a list. Like I, I'm just typing this in. So question. So basically yeah. is what is, what you're saying is, all right, so the the four chambers, the two atriums and the two ventricles, the uh, body basically dumps the deoxygenated blood into the right atrium. The right atrium goes to the right ventricle, sends it to the lungs to be oxygenated. The blood comes from the lungs to the, uh, to the left ventricle, I mean, to the left atrium. And back out to the right, I mean, the left ventricle, and then back out to the body. It's basically what it's saying. Yep, that's about it, what you said. So I was just, maybe that, maybe does that. Out to the body, yeah, and then back from the body. Right. Then it goes out to the lungs, back from the lungs. Out to the body, back from the body. Out to the lungs, back from the lungs. It's like that circle. You see, there's like two circles out to the body, back from the body. There's one circle, then out to the lungs, back from the lungs. There's the other circle. So there's like, it's, it's like two of those circles. One of them's called systemic circulation. When you go out to the body and back from the body, that's systemic. It's going to your whole system. And then out to the lungs, back from the lungs, that's pulmonary circulation. It's just that they're both happening at the same time. Out to the lungs on one side, out to the body on one side. Back from the lungs on one side, back from the body on the other side. Once that clicks, it'll, it'll be easier. Like you could fill in, like you fill in all these words and, and we've got other things to fill in, but... I mean, the general idea that, you know, blood's getting pumped out to two different places and blood's getting returned to two different places at the same time, you should, you should have that, that notion. But that's what this here. Let me go, let me get rid of some of these words. This here is what I'm showing you here. It's just that here they've, it's, it's all labeled. They label the shit out of this and this is kind of more simplistic. But you can see the four chambers, right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle, left ventricle. And you can see it from your book. Right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle, left ventricle. If you could get that down for class today, that would be like a really great start. Like what goes into the right atrium and where does the right atrium, where does that blood then go to? Then from the right ventricle, where does that blood go to? It's going, it's gonna to go to the lungs. <clears throat> then where is the left atrium getting the blood from? It's 
coming back from the lungs, gives it to the left ventricle. Where is the left ventricle going to send that blood? To your body, to everywhere. So this big tube here is out, like right here. This is out to everywhere in the body. You're seeing three arteries come out the top here, but they're not showing you everything. These three arteries are going to your arms and your, like your neck and your head. That's where these three arteries are headed. Like this middle one here, that's on its way up the left side of your neck and it's gonna go up into your head. This one right here that I'm pointing on, that's going around your shoulder and it's going to drop down into your left arm. This one here is going to do the same thing. It just it's going to split. It's like it's going to split and go up to your up the other side of your neck. Like your neck's right here. Like here's your Adam's apple and your larynx and stuff. This is your throat. So up up your left side of your neck. This one's going to go up the right side of your neck. And this also goes around your shoulder. They're just not showing it to you. But this one's going to split. So these are going up your neck and, and around your shoulders. Then this thing, you see how it like curves? It like loops around, arches, and then it's going to drop down behind your heart. See, there it is down here at the bottom. And that's going to feed. That's giving blood to everything, everything below your heart. Everything below your chest bone. I wonder if I've got like any. I've got nothing on here. That last video had a good picture of it though. This one. And I'm just going to. Veins are who is representative of blood vessels. Now, let's follow the pattern. The inferior vena cava receives. There. All right. So, like that aorta, that thing that was like arching around with the three things coming out of it. Here's like, you can't really, you can't really see it, but there's three things coming out of the top. They're right here. They're, they're going up your neck and they're going around your arms. And then it loops. It loops down behind your heart. They're kind of showing it to you here. And here it is. And it just, it branches off to everything. It's branching off here to your kidneys. It's branching off to your stomach and your intestine, all this stuff in your guts. It's branching off to everything. And then it, at then around your groin area, it splits and it goes down your legs. So those are the, all these red things are your like systemic arteries. They're delivering oxygen to your whole body. And all the blue is on its way back up. So back up your legs. And once it goes back up your legs around your groin area, it becomes this one big blue vessel that's going this is the inferior vena cava this is going back to your right side right atrium and then here's your superior vena cava so this vein coming around your shoulder this vein coming up your arm around your shoulder here's your jugulars they're all going right here where this arrow is superior or right here superior vena cava So this big one arching around is your aorta. This big blue one coming in is the superior vena cava. This big one coming in from underneath, inferior vena cava. So it's like here, aorta, superior vena cava, inferior vena cava. And then we've got one more big vessel right here, it's called your pulmonary trunk. So pulmonary is gonna tell you right away it has to do with lungs. This one's kind of weird because you associate blue with a vein, but here it's an artery because it's not about the type of blood that's in it, it's about the direction that it's going. So this one's going out, like the video was saying, it's going out toward, I mean, away from the heart, so it's an artery. And then here's the vein right here and right here. Here are the veins coming back in. Pulmonary artery, pulmonary veins. Out to the lungs, these two, back from the lungs. And you can see it on the other side too. Out to the lungs, back 
from the lungs. So you've got that video. Um, there's lots of there's lots of videos on it, but um, that's essentially so. There's there's a total of three different types of circulations, right? So um, one circulation is called systemic, and that's blood going from the heart to the whole body back to the heart. That's systemic circulation. Another type of circulation is pulmonary, from the heart to all of the to the lungs, to both lungs, and then back to the heart. That's pulmonary circulation. And the word pulmonary tells you. Oh look, this slide right here gives you an order. I don't know how helpful the pictures are, but it gives you an order. And it's starting with most books and websites and stuff, they start with the right atrium. Not that there's ever really a start. This is all going on. Like, you know, the right and the left side are both pumping at the same time. It's not like the right side pumps, then the left side. They're both pumping simultaneously. But, you know, if we're going to start somewhere, you start at the right atrium. And this is what, you know, one of you were saying through the tricuspid, into the right ventricle, so you just follow it. So that's kind of a good slide to, uh, I'll post it, right? It's a good slide to um, to kind of list everything. This is showing you the third type of circulation. So we have systemic circulation, pulmonary, this is called coronary circulation. See, like the word here, coronary. That's the heart giving itself blood. The heart is a muscle, so it also has to get oxygen, just like your leg muscles or anywhere else in your body. It has to get oxygen, and it has to deliver its waste product you know, it has to get rid of its waste just like anything else. So if you look here, here's the aorta. This blood is bound for all of your body, right? And then look right here, that little tap off of it. There's a coronary artery tapping off of it. And then on this side, there's another coronary artery tapping off of it. And all you see all these arteries here. They're all sticking into the myocardium, the heart muscle. They're all sticking into the heart muscle and feeding it with oxygen. You'd think the heart would just like tap from the inside, you know, take some of that oxygen from the blood inside the ventricle or something. It doesn't do that. It sends it out just like every other organ, and it, it taps off of the aorta right here. So you've got like a right and a left coronary artery. This is where you get your heart attacks, right? So they call them MIs or myocardial infunction, infarction, myocardial infarction. Myocardial, meaning the myocardium, the muscle, the heart muscle. So if you have, you know, like let's say where my arrow is, it gets plugged up, right? And then no oxygen can get past the arrow. I can't get any oxygen out here. So all these cells are going to die. Or even worse, if I get the blood clot, not a blood clot. Well, I mean, it could be a blood clot. Anything, plaque, something obstructing the flow of blood. If I plug it up, then everything after it is not getting oxygenated blood. So I'm going to kill all these cells and probably die from that. Right, but depends on for your depends on what gets plugged up. And really, if you start getting into it, you would start asking yourself, okay, well, let's say the plug is here where this point is, this pointer, right? So the question is, first question is, well, what side is it, right side or left side? And you look at it, okay, it's the right side of the heart. Is it an atrium or is it a ventricle? So the atrium are going to be at the top and the ventricles are going to be underneath it. 
So it's right here. It's on kind of on top. So there's there's probably an atrium, the right atriums over here. So no heart attack's a good heart attack, right? But it's not pumping blood out to everywhere in the body. It's just the right atrium, and that's just receiving blood. So it's, it's like if I'm going to have to pick a place to pl to get plugged up, that's not a bad place. But then you look at the opposite here. Let's say I plug up right here. Well, that's the left side. So that's oxygenated. And it's down here at the bottom. So that's probably a ventricle, right? The ventricles are underneath the atrium. So now I'm talking about the left ventricle. Where is that sending blood? Everywhere sending blood down to my pinky toe and how am i going to get that blood back up my leg against gravity again that's the left atrium i mean the left ventricle the left ventricle is pumping the blood down to my feet and back up so it's working its ass off so i don't want i don't want a heart attack here i don't want to plug any of these coronary vessels up cuz so i'm going to starve the heart of oxygen Right, that's a shitty place to get a heart attack. So that's like there's some heart attacks, like they get it and then they get a stint or but whatever they get, and then they're like back at work, right? And then some people get it and they just drop dead. Some of it, some of it depends on where you get your heart attack. So anyway, that's coronary circulation. This is blood feeding the heart. And you see how it's tapping off of the aorta right here and right here. This is the return trip. So this is, these are all the coronary veins. And they're all, if you follow like my pointer, I'm coming around here and it's, it's going right here. This little, like right at the tip of my pointer, that's gonna empty into the right atrium. It's called the coronary sinus. So that empties back into the right atrium. So that's your heart's way of getting oxygen and getting rid of its carbon dioxide. And there's a good shot here of the superior vena cava. Look, see, here's a jugular vein. There's the right jugular vein, left jugular vein. This one's coming from you know, like your thyroid gland. This one's coming around the shoulder. We call that a subclavian. I think your clavicle is right here in your shoulder. So it's like under, it's like that, that vein's like right under it. So it's like subclavicle, subclavian. Right, there's a subclavian, there's a subclavian. It all dumps into this superior vena cava. This is not labeled. Well, it's kind of labeled. This is labeled. Right, anyway, I won't get into that. Um, coronary circulation. That's heart, the heart giving blood to itself and blood going back. So like from the heart to the heart back to the heart that makes sense so three types pulmonary circulation systemic circulation coronary circulation that's the three different types of blood flow in your body i'm probably not going to talk about this one again coronary i'm just going to leave it uh so i'll stick to that's that's like an actual heart I'll stick to um I'll stick to systemic and pulmonary. So I really want you to to uh, get that down by um, Tuesday because on Tuesday and I'm gonna put this whole thing up in case you want to jump ahead because Tuesday you see here I'm getting into physiology like how does the electrical impulses go through the heart? How do muscles contract? This is an EKG. You should have an idea of what that does. Right, so I'm going to put this whole thing up there, but I'm not going to get into this stuff. See, I got three slides on this thing I'm calling the cardiac cycle. So you know, you know what that means. I've got three slides on it. It's obviously very important to me and means it's like something I'm definitely going to ask about. But before we get into all of that, which all of that is physiology. I'm going to end this. I'm going to end this lecture today. I want you to get 
the first, I want you to have an idea of like that slide, not a memorization and understanding. I want you to be able to like say it to yourself and like walk yourself through it. Or I want you to be able to explain it to somebody. Well, the blood goes here and then it goes here. Why? Why does it go there? Well, because it's deoxygenated, you know, and it, and it just came from the, the body. Like, I want you to get it. Like, I want it to click. So it's important that it does. So, um, questions? Do, do you know Do you know how long it's going to take for them to fix the, the issues we have with Canvas? I know the last email. Oh, yeah, I, I, I know why you're asking. Um, okay, hold on. Um, no, I will provide additional updates. Usually it okay. takes like an hour or so. Okay. Well, I know it's, it's been going on for a little minute. Because even I tried to take my test this morning and I couldn't do it. Oh, which sucks because that would have been nice if you could have just had that out of your head. Yeah. Well, if you guys are still stuck like later on and you can't take it because of Canvas, I'll, you know, email me and I'll, I'll extend it into tomorrow. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I've got a lot of emails saying I can't get into Canvas. So I'm sorry about that. Yeah, and so... um. Yeah, if you can't take your test, let me know. I will um, spend a lot of today having someone else do my work for me. It's nice. um, let me stop recording. I'll post this. Um, I'm going to go post it under the quiz two material. I'll post the whole thing. So if you want to read ahead or something, you can. You you but putting it on um, YouTube too or just? Yeah, I'll, all my – actually, you know what? It's already – I mean, this lecture right now is not on there, but I'm talking about this lecture. Like, I saw the I saw the the old videos of heart. I saw yeah. those ones I was talking about. It's the same thing. If you just go to the heart, then you'll see all those videos, like smaller versions of it. Okay. Yeah, so you don't even need Canvas. Okay. And I'll post this to YouTube also. Okay, so. that works. All right. Well. Good luck for those of you that didn't take the test. Probably most of you because Canvas is down. And um, I'll see you guys Tuesday. And let me know if you have any questions. All right. We virtual Thursday, right? I know okay. today is Thursday. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> We're virtual Tuesday. Back to class on Thursday. Right, right. Yeah. All right. So I'll see you guys have online a, Tuesday. All right. Have a good weekend. You see you guys. All right. Bye.